Hi everyone, so today I want to show you how to save some money on your energy bills this winter. So it's getting to that time of year where we're all starting to think about getting the heating back on. And there are a few things you can do on your boiler that most people aren't actually aware of and this can actually save you quite a bit of money. Now we all know that if you drop the target temperature on your room thermostat by a few degrees then you'll save some money as the room isn't being heated up as much and while that is definitely worth a go in the first instance it does mean you need to adapt to a slightly colder house. With the boiler though you can make a few tweaks that will save you some money and you may not even notice the difference. So I'm currently in the loft as that's where my boiler is and uh, I, sh I should say actually these tips only work if you have a combi boiler and by a combi boiler I mean you don't have a hot water tank and all your hot water uh, is heated on demand. If you do have a hot water tank in your house then these tips may not work uh, and I'll explain why a little bit later in the video. So on the right hand side here you can see there are two sets of controls and this will be similar on most combi boilers. The left controls are for the radiators and you can see there's a little radiator icon just here and then the right hand controls uh, here are for the hot water and you can see there's a little hot water icon just there. So let's talk about the left controls to start with. Uh, as you can see if I press the up arrow here my boiler is telling me that the radiator hot water is set to 70 degrees and that is the standard default for most boilers. Now what this means is the water in the radiators is being heated to 70 degrees in order to heat your home to the temperature on your thermostat so that might be 20 or 21 degrees or whatever you have it set to. But 70 degrees is probably overkill to get to your desired temperature so you can adjust this down to 60 degrees just by pressing the down arrow like this. What this means is your radiators will run slightly cooler but your house will still heat up to the same temperature that you've got set on your wall thermostat. It just takes a little longer for it to get there uh, but it's therefore more energy efficient and saves you money. So drop down to 60 degrees and if you don't notice the difference then happy days. If you're finding it's taking too long to heat the house then you can either set the heating to come on slightly earlier or just come back up to the boiler and bump it back up to 70. Uh, but either way I think it's definitely worth a go. So on the right hand side we have the hot water and again if I press the up arrow you can see that my hot water is set to 60 degrees which again is a default and again probably a bit too much. Most of the time when you run the tap to wash your hands or have a bath or shower you actually mix cold water into the hot anyway so effectively you're just wasting all that energy heating the hot water up in the first place. So if we back this off to let's say 50 degrees it means the water coming out the taps will be slightly cooler but then you just don't need as much cold water to be mixed in and therefore you save some money. Now I mentioned earlier this only works on combi boilers rather than traditional boilers with a hot water tank and the reason for this is the non combi boilers usually just have one setting for both the radiator and hot water combined and because you have a tank you need to keep the hot water between 60 and 70 degrees in order to kill any bacteria that's in the cylinder. So unfortunately, unless you can independently control with two temperatures on your boiler, then these tips won't work. But for combi boilers, you are definitely good to go. So I hope that was useful. If it was, then drop me a like or comment below and I'll see you on the next one.